Welcome back to Movie On. Today I'm going to explain the movie called Cash Back from 2006. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care, and I hope you enjoy it. In today's video, I will explain about a guy with superpowers. He can freeze time and then takes off the clothes of all the girls in front of him. I will also talk about if he finds his true love or not. At the beginning of the movie, we see an art classroom. Students were drawing a portrait of a naked man and the main lead actor of this movie was also in this classroom. His name is Ben. Ben was an amazing artist, and then we saw that Ben's girlfriend just broke up with him. His girlfriend's name was Susie. Ben was so broken because of his recent breakup with his girlfriend. He could not concentrate on anything, and he was suffering from insomnia as well, and that's why he could not sleep at night. He was staying up all night for the past few days, and then, one day he went to a supermarket to buy some things. Then he saw a poster inside the market. They were recruiting for the night shift. Then Ben joined the store for the night shift work. There were four more people working there. One of them was a girl, and her name was Sharon, and the two guys' names were Matt and Barry. These two guys were so naughty. They would always put adult toys in ladies' customers' trolleys, and when they were checking out at the counter, then they would wonder that they never put it in their trolley. But still, some customers would buy it. When Ben saw Sharon for the first time, he fell in love with her at first sight, and we can say that Sharon was also a bit interested in Ben. But still, Ben felt so bored whenever he was working alone, and he could not concentrate on his job. But Ben started imagining that he could freeze the time due to his boredom. All the things with the people in front of him were frozen, which means all the things would stay right where they were and not move a bit. And he can do anything with those things, people or women. He was walking through them, and he was feeling attracted to the female bodies. And then he took their clothes off and started drawing them. He did not just undress women. He did it with all the ladies present in the store, and drew their portrait. After making the paintings, he noticed that his boss was also frozen there. Then Ben took him and placed his body in front of a dropping milk bottle. And then he went outside and unfroze time. And then we saw Ben's childhood. We found out why he was so attracted to female bodies. He was in love with female bodies. And then we found out that a girl stayed in their house when he was a kid. She would always go to her room fully naked, and she would always do it in front of Ben's room. And Ben would always enjoy this. And then Ben told us something about his life. He said that he and one of his friends, Sean, and the other kids of that village would give money to a senior girl of their school to watch her private parts. And that girl would take the money from them and show them her private body parts. The name of this girl was Natalie. One time, these two friends crossed the limit. When he was in Sean's house, they read some adult magazines of Sean's parents. But then, Sean's mom was there, and they ran out of that room and left the magazines right there. When Sean's mom was punishing them, she saw that their penis was hard. Then those two kids moved their shoulders as if they didn't know anything. Then we saw that Ben and his colleagues, along with his boss, went to play a football match against an opposing team. Even though Ben and his team tried so hard, they lost all the matches so badly. And then a player shot the ball towards Ben's boss, and the ball hit him. But then Ben freezes the time, and he went to the restroom and had a drink. But then, he saw that there was another guy who could move, even though time was frozen. But Ben couldn't see his face, and the boy ran outside. Then Ben realized that there are some people who can move in frozen time. And then, when he came out in unfroze time, we saw that Ben's boss was bleeding a lot. Then we saw that Ben and Sharon were on a date. After the date, Ben came to Sharon's house to drop her off. Then Sharon kissed him before she entered the house. Then she entered the house. On the other side, we saw Matt and Barry. This time, a hot girl was standing in front of their cash counter. That girl bought an adult toy on her own. Then their reaction was something like that if she bought that toy for them. And then we saw that Ben's boss arranged a party on his birthday to forget the pain of losing the match. And he invited all of his staff and some personal guests. Then Sharon asked Ben to join the party as her date. Ben said yes. This is a golden opportunity for every guy that a girl is asking him to be her date. On the other side, Ben's friend Barry and Matt called Ben as an owner of an art gallery, and they gave him an appointment and told him to come to the office with all of his paintings. Ben told Sharon about this before entering the party. And then they entered the party. Then they saw that there were so many people in this party, 
and his boss called a stripper as well. Ben knew this stripper. Then Ben got a little worried after seeing her. Her name was Natalie. This was the same girl that Ben and Sean gave money to see her private parts. Ben's ex-girlfriend was also present at this party. Her name was Susie, and she broke up with Ben at the beginning of this movie. Now Susie was the girlfriend of Ben's boss's brother, and that's why she was invited to this party. Susie said sorry to Ben about their past and the things she did to him, and then Susie kissed him. Ben didn't understand what was going on, and that's why he pushed her away. Sharon was looking for Ben to dance with him, but then Sharon saw that Susie and Ben were kissing each other, and she got mad at him and left the party. Ben saw her leaving the party, and then he froze, because he could not reverse time. That's why he froze. After some time, he unfroze time again, and then Sharon left the party. The next night, Ben went to Sharon's house to say sorry to her, but Sharon was so mad at him, and she shouted at him so much, and told him to leave, and then closed the door. The next day, when Ben went to the store, he saw that Sharon's chair was empty, which means Sharon left the job because of Ben. Ben was so worried about all of this, but it was time he had to attend the art gallery. Then Ben went to the art gallery. Barry and Matt pranked him with a call from this art gallery, but he thought it was real and came to the art gallery. Then the owner asked him, I didn't invite you, but since you're here, you can show me your drawings. Then the owner of that art gallery was so impressed by his drawings. Then the owner arranged an exhibition for his drawings. Then Ben came back home and sent an invitation card to Sharon to his art exhibition. When Sharon came to the art exhibition, she was so surprised after seeing the walls with Ben's paintings, because all the paintings were Sharon's paintings. Then she realized that Ben made these paintings for her, and then Sharon congratulated Ben for his achievement in a different style, which means she kissed him. Since Ben was so attracted to females, he froze the time to enjoy this moment. But this time, Sharon could move in the frozen time, and that's why Ben went outside with her. The snow was also frozen outside, and then they kissed each other after coming outside in the frozen world, and the movie ended here with this beautiful scene. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks.